Since Intamina had released the Ziggy Cup, I have received some of the same questions. Where is it made? How much does it hold? Is it better for a low cervix or a high cervix? Is it comfortable? Is it easy to use? Is it messy? Can I boil it? Can I really have sex while using the Ziggy Cup? These are all really great questions and I'm going to go over all of them today. If you were curious about one or more of these questions, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Where was the Ziki Cup made? Just like the Lily Cup Original and the Lily Cup Compacts, the Ziki Cup is also made in China. How much does the Ziggy Cup hold? According to the Intamina website, the Ziggy Cup holds 76 milliliters, and that's a lot. Some of you may be very excited about that number. However, some of those who have already purchased the Ziggy Cup and have used it uh, with their heavier periods have shared with me that they feel that that's kind of a false number. The same could be said for some of these other types of menstrual cups as well, though. A lot of companies state the capacity to the very top of the rim. I'm not sure where they're measuring to, uh, if they're leveling out the fluid to the very top of the rim, or if they're letting it bubble or dome over. But if you were filling your cup up to any of that area, it would probably leak over with any type of movement that you make. You'll always want to subtract a couple of milliliters from the stated number to account for that. You might also want to account for if your cervix sits inside of the cup. It would then compromise some of that capacity. Unlike the other types of menstrual cups behind me, the Ziggy cup has a collection area made out of a thin film. After the cup is inserted, the film might not expand completely. When your flow starts to collect in the film, it may expand some, but it's not always the case. Therefore, you also might not get the full capacity of 76 milliliters. Is the Ziggy cup better for a low or a high cervix? Unlike the other types of menstrual cups, the Ziggy cup doesn't need to nestle around your cervix. It sits partially inside of the vaginal fornix next to the cervix and then creates kind of like a hammock uh, to your pubic bone to collect your flow. Since it's inserted and positioned differently, it said that the Ziggy Cup should feel comfortable for a low or a high cervix. However, from personal experience, I don't find it very easy or comfortable to insert the Ziggy Cup during um, anywhere from day one to day four of my period while my cervix is a little on the lower side. Towards the middle and the end of my period, my cervix moves up a little bit higher and I'm able to insert the Ziggy Cup completely and also tuck it behind my pubic bone without any issues. Is the Ziggy Cup comfortable? We're all different, so we're all going to have different experiences with the Ziggy Cup. As I said previously, I'm not able to use the Ziggy Cup in the beginning of my period, but I'm comfortable using it at the middle and end of my period. I do sometimes feel like I can feel the rim uh, about to pop out from behind my pubic bone, no matter how much I try to stuff it up there. When that happens, I squeeze my pelvic floor muscles and try to bring it back up. Thankfully, I have not experienced it actually popping out of place while I was using it. As with the other type of menstrual discs on the market, I know many of you wish that there was a smaller size of the disc. So it's not comfortable for everyone. Is the Ziggy Cup easy to use? Just like everything else, the Ziggy Cup is going to need some practice getting used to. There's going to be a learning curve. If you used any of these other types of menstrual cups, you're probably a little bit more in tune to your body and know where everything is located and where the cup should be placed. But if you're a new user, you might have to get to know your body a little bit better um, and know where to place this cup. Once you have some practice with it, it will become easier. 
and you can actually practice inserting the Ziggy cup when you're not even on your period. I will be doing a video on how to insert, position, and remove the Ziggy cup, but my model Kim is getting a makeover, so I'm going to wait until she's done before I do that demonstration. Is the Ziggy cup messy? When you're first starting out to use any menstrual cup or any menstrual disc, it's going to be messy until you get the hang of it. However, if you have a very heavy period with the Ziggy cup or any other menstrual disc, you might find that it could be a little bit more messy than the other types of menstrual cups. To remove the Ziggy cup, you would insert a finger and hook it underneath the rim and then slide it out. Some people find that when they remove a menstrual disc, the collection area gets smashed, causing the contents to spill over or gush out into their hand. They have also said, and I have experienced this as well, is as soon as I untuck it from behind my pubic bone, the contents will also gush into my hand or into the toilet. Some people like to keep the cup upright when they remove it and then dump the contents into the toilet when they're ready, or some like to pull it straight down and let the contents dump into the toilet directly. Both still has your hand in the way, and so the menstrual disc might be a little bit more messy than the menstrual cup since you can keep the menstrual cup upright until you're ready to dump it into the toilet. Can I boil my Ziggy cup? According to the Intamino website, you can boil the Ziggy cup. It's actually recommended to boil it before your first use. One of my fellow cuppers did say that they boiled their cup. I did not. I actually just washed it with hot soapy water and was okay with that. At the time, I wasn't sure if I could boil it either. Can I really have sex while using the Ziggy cup? First of all, everyone has a different definition of what sex is. I am referring to penetration, either with a penis, a toy, fingers, or any other object. So yes, you can have penetration while using the Ziggy cup. Since the collection area is a thin film, obviously you want to be careful with that area if you're using anything uh, that might be a little sharp or jagged, such as a fingernail. I personally have not had a chance to use the Ziggy cup, but I have used other menstrual discs in the past, um, and the Ziggy cup is a lot softer and quieter than those other types of discs. My husband was able to detect the collection area on those cups, um, and also the rim, and he prefers the other types of menstrual cups over the discs in the end. But there are many of those who only purchase the menstrual disc for the purpose of having penetrative sex while on their period. They find it both comfortable and mess-free. Well, that's all I have about the Ziggy cup for now. Um, I am, again, working on a new model. Uh, and then I will be doing a segment on inserting, positioning, and removing the Ziggy cup. I'm a visual person, so I totally understand when you need to actually see what's going on uh, to figure out where to put everything and how to, you know, adjust. So I'm going to try to get that out as soon as I can. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also leave me a comment down below if you purchased the Ziggy cup based on the 76 milliliter capacity and what you thought about it. Does it hold up for you or do you think that the number was a little misleading? Until I see you next time, take care.